again have a staircase problem we are allowed to take one or two or three steps yeah guys so work out the recurrence again and write it down on pen and paper work out few examples and check whatever recurrence you are coming up with are you confident that that will work and again type done once you are done so i'm just increasing steps now you have three choices okay avinil can you go ahead and reveal your solution yes sir so it will be uh, n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 okay and how did you come up with this intuition yeah so so for number of like n equals 1 there's only one way we'll take just one step for n okay. equals 2 for n is equal to 2 we'll take uh, two steps like 1 1 and just 2 for okay. n is so equal to of, 3 yeah so you are saying ways of n is nothing but uh, that starts starting with 1 right first you yes. start with one step yes. then all the ways which start with two two steps because that is second choice third yes, choice sir. is give Plus me all three. the ways that start with three, three. steps yes sir okay. if you start with one step that what happens then i'm left with remaining n minus one steps perfect so if one step is already taken you have n minus one steps remaining okay so all those ways are counted okay then yes, if you start with two steps two steps then i have n minus two okay if you start with three steps n minus three okay. yeah and so my uh, base case here would be uh if n equals equals one then one n equals equals two then two and if n equals equals three then three or n equals to two it could be three right how or n Sorry, two, how will no, it, be it is one one comma two you can either take two one one steps or like one step two for three, three it should be four right yeah, three three four, three three four. Four. yeah let's see what are those one plus one plus one uh, one, plus one, one plus two and three one plus two two plus, two plus one, one and three so i mean you missed that uh yeah i missed one yes yes Okay, yes, so base cases are these. Yeah, so goal, goal should be go with this approach, come up with a recurrence, and once you have come up with a recurrence and base cases, try to see whether your, your, the recurrence you have come up with, whether that works for next value or not. So current recurrence is saying this. So what we should do is through this recurrence, if you try to calculate W of four, According to our recurrence, W of 4 should be nothing but W of 1 plus 2 plus 3. Because 4 will be 3, 2, 1. Add them, it is giving 7. This is according to our recurrence. Then we should manually work out and see is it really 7. And if yes, then we can certify that our recurrence and thought process right now makes sense. For 4, I'm getting 6. For 4, you are getting 6. How? So it's uh, one, 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 like the number of days. Okay, let's see. Starting with one first, we will write one plus one plus one plus one, then one plus one plus two, then one plus two plus one. Then is there anything else starting with one, one plus three? Okay, yeah, I got, I missed the one in this cycle. One, one time is. Okay. Yeah, we should not miss that because this time third dimension is also added. <laughs> yeah so these are the only patterns that start with one let's look out what are the patterns starting with two two plus one plus one two plus two that's it there are no other patterns that start with two or four yes okay let's and then go one, with one three three one one three we have already listed out oh, oh yeah so there are four patterns that start with one two patterns that start with two one pattern that start with three add four plus two plus one you get the answer and essentially that is the same thought process we have applied first we started counting out how many patterns are there if we start with one as the first step 